In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the brand new Nerf Pro Gelfire Twist Shot. I know a ton of you have been waiting to see a review about this, and it looks like I'm the first one who got their hands on one. This gel blaster is for sale for $16 on Amazon, and I'm really going to see if it's worth that $16 price point. Nerf just released the Nerf Pro Gelfire Quadrant, and the thumb hole design is basically the same on both these blasters. I already released a full review of this blaster on my channel, so if you haven't seen it, make sure you go watch that after this video. Anyways, the Twist Shot is supposed to reach speeds of 150 feet per second. Along with that, it has two shooting modes, allowing you to shoot one bullet at one or three bullets at once. We're going to be testing that out. Along with that, it has a weird looking 80 round internal hopper. I'm sure you guys are done hearing me talk about this blaster, so let's get right into unboxing this thing. Okay, we got the box here. Let's flip this over. Cut this piece of tape right here. Part of the box. You can actually do a pair of protective eyewear. The basic protective eyewear that comes with all Nerf gel fire blasters. Here we got the blaster itself, and this thing is quite a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be too. About the same size as the Nerf Legion, surprisingly. It kind of looks like a Nerf Igniter, but it's quite a bit bigger. Then here we got an instruction manual along with 5,000 rounds of ammo. Other than that, there's nothing else in here. So to prime this blaster, pull back this key prime, and then it should be ready to shoot. But before you could shoot, you have to press the safety switch. When it's pushing out on the right, it's on safe, but when you push it in, it's off safe. Then you can pull the trigger. That thing feels pretty weak compared to other Nerf gel fire blasters that I've seen. To load the hopper, all you have to do is lift this cover up, and then you can load bullets right into there. To load this up, you can easily take something like this refill bottle, and then just load in around 80 bullets. They definitely could have made a much bigger ammo capacity for that. Or they just could have used the Nerf Legion or the new Upward and Quadrant Hopper. But I guess this looks kind of cool, but they definitely could have added more ammo capacity. To switch between the shooting modes, you have this thing right here. When the arrows is facing towards one orange dot, you got single fire. And then when you twist it all the way around, it's facing three dots, which gives you three bullets per trigger pull. Other than that, there's really nothing much else to this blaster. Nerf is kind of running out of ideas at this point. But I don't blame them, because this is a pretty cool design right here. And they have definitely made a lot of cool and unique blasters. But anyways, let's get to the accuracy and FPS test and see how this blaster does. Starting off with the chronograph test, let's pull it back once. Shot one, 152.4 feet per second. Shot two, 175.5 feet per second. Shot three, 161.3 feet per second. Shot four, 146.3 feet per second. And finally for shot five, we got 147 feet per second. Really good FPS numbers on this little pistol right here. That definitely does better than the Nerf Legion and the Nerf Dual Pistols and is caught kind of around the same space as the Nerf Igniter. Let's see what happens when I try to chronograph it while shooting three bullets at once. There we go. It says 64.5 feet per second. Let's try it again. 85.2 feet per second. 125 feet per second and 89.9 feet per second. Those numbers might not be all that accurate, especially since chronographs have trouble counting bullets when they're shot out more than one at a time, but I would not be surprised by those numbers because there's a lot of power needed to shoot three bullets at once out of the same exact barrel. But anyways, let's get right into the accuracy test and see how this thing does. We're gonna start off with single shot, let's aim for the head. Now let's put on three bullets. Uh, I don't know if you saw what I just saw, but that is very low FPS and it's hardly hitting the target at all. Let's try loading this up with more ammo and see if it does better. Okay, got this thing loaded back up. Let's try again. Let's stand a little closer to the target. It's almost like it shoots one good bullet, then the other two that follow just... Bleh. Let's back up again. Okay, nerf. I see you try to introduce a cool new design of this blaster, but it's not working well. The only way you could really use this blaster is using it on single shot, and that's not what the pistol was really made for anyways. Sure, it's cool to have that triple shot feature, but it doesn't even work that well. It had like one good pop, and then the other two just followed it, and they were just 
terrible shots. When shooting one bullet at a time, it's actually quite accurate, but when you shoot three at a time, it's not accurate at all, and they just bloop down a little bit. And those FPS numbers we saw in the chronograph, I would not be surprised anymore. Anyway, let's get back to the desk so I can reveal my final thoughts on this blaster. Don't get me wrong, I love that Nerf is releasing new products with cool features like this all the time now, but this one, they did not perfect all that well. Shooting single shot wise, yes, it's really good, but if you're just gonna use that, you might as well just get an igniter at that point. And the igniter is like $7 on Amazon right now. Along with that, you have the Legion, which has a 130 round hopper and gets a little bit less FPS than that, but it also has a slam fire feature which gives you a lot of rps so it basically takes some good things from the legion and the igniter but then it combines them into this and then they add their own terrible features if the triple shot worked and all bullets shot at like 150 feet per second in a straight line yes that'd be awesome but that's not how it went sometimes one went straight the other two went off one way sometimes there's like a triple where they all splat out at different directions and sometimes it only fired one or two at once and i know it's not the ammo because it's shooting just fine on single fire but after refilling it i really do like this lift up cap because it's really easy to reload, shut it real quick, and then get right back in the battle. But I would never use this during a gel blaster war just because it's not practical at all. Sure, during the pistols gel blaster war, this would be a pretty cool option, but other than that, there's really no good use to it. Not even a sidearm, because for a sidearm, I like using only one hand, and to pull this back with two hands, just a waste of time. But for the $16 price point, it's actually not that bad. You get really good FPS numbers and a pretty cool looking pistol. Along with that, you get 5,000 rounds of ammo, which is pretty good. Overall, not a great blaster itself, but it has its uses. Soon I'm gonna be making a list where I rank all the Nerf Gelfire blasters and wait to see where I rank this thing on it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you wanna get this blaster, I'll link it down in the description. If you wanna watch the video where I go over the top five best beginner gel blasters, click this video right here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in that video. In today's video, we're gonna be counting down the top five best beginner gel blasters that you can get in 2024. This video is going to be great if you're getting into the gel blaster hobby, but you really don't know much about gel blasters right now. Before we get into the video, let me tell you